Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and I'm back again with another series review. I just watched the latest episode of Defiance. It was called Painted for Memory and like all the other viewers out there, I was under the impression that Kenya was still alive, but this takes on a drastic twist in this particular episode as we realize that Kenya is indeed dead. The poison on the flask that Stama gave her was what did her in. And it's actually <laughs> Dr. Yule who was responsible for taking one of her own kind, one of her own endogenes, a spy of all people, and uh, wiping her memories and taking some of Amanda's memories, grafting them into her, and creating a Kenya clone. And of course, this endogene wants Dr. Yule to repair her because um, as Kenya, she doesn't know how long she has to live, but as an energy, she only has a couple of weeks at best. And I thought, oh my God, that's so cruel. Dr. Yule, how could you? I, I liked you. And I feel conflicted about liking Dr. Yule now. I, I really enjoy her character because she's just so deadpan and that's what makes her so enjoyable. And she has a lot of snarky remarks and witty retorts and... She's very nonchalant and cavalier and um, <laughs> devil may care and she just says what she thinks and and I like her because of that but I'm, I'm not so sure that I like her character so much now because I know that she's in cahoots with Daytac and also the mayor of Defiance. Um, Amanda's whispering things in his ear but the mayor's not taking her seriously, and we all know this from watching the series. He's just, he's an arrogant SOB, not to mention British. Coincidence? I think not. Sorry. I mean, I, I know I'm saying that, and it seems really <laughs> biased, but haven't you noticed that all of the best of villains in cinema or any kind of media are British? And they all have accents, and they just, they're very stylish, and, and they're very sophisticated, and they're very elegant and eloquent in the way that they speak and how they do their business, and very sinister. <laughs> I love Brits, though, don't get me wrong. I am an Anglophile, and absolutely love to hate the mayor, and I'm kind of wondering about Daytac, and now I know that Daytac and Stama's relationship is cemented once more, and... The guy who is responsible for the exhortation of Amanda. Now we know who that is. The guy behind the mask, the goggles, etc. Ah, it kind of makes me wonder if he's the one with the three-headed eagle tattoo. Hmm, wonder if he is. That kind of makes you wonder. And you were introduced to a, a new character. She had a. She was one with a tattoo. Her, her name was Berlin. And I liked Berlin. I thought Berlin was an interesting character. I wonder if we'll see more of her. And I would like to see more of that Indigene spy. Because I, I felt bad for her. And I feel like she's going to get a new life in the next episode. The next episode is going to be a long one. But it'll be a lot of fun to watch, I think. So next time on Defiance, everybody. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going to go on. We just have to wait and see. <laughs>